welcome to tech card view once again today we have the install i mean we have done the installation the unboxing for the asus zona dx today we would be following up with the installation process and the uh, using of the card so i have installed the drivers already those are pretty self-explanatory uh, the dvd the dvd which you get just insert it run the setup and you're done we start the machine it will auto populate the software so this is how the software looks for asus so it's pretty jazzy looking with a good uh, layer format of a car so this is pretty much it so it has the configurations now i do not have a 5.1 channel uh, speaker system though but it, it actually uh, sounds really good uh, on a, even on a 2.1 channel and that too it's uh, not a very good make it's uh, it's of artists that's a pretty chinese company but it had good results when i purchased it four years earlier so that's a different story so just have a look on this these are the direct preset modes like uh, if you want music for music then it's music for movie it's movie it auto adjusts itself then for game it's game for gx it's gx and here is something smart volume uh, this is more more likely it works like a volume controller i mean auto volume leveling in windows also we have that so the loudness is controlled according to the distortion which is created at high frequencies so not much of our interest and this volume cannot be managed from here it ma it gets managed from the windows bar like right now i am moving it around or you can move it around from here so and here is the main uh what do we say money what we have paid for this is all it is so this is the first screen the main screen two channels you can go up to eight channels because this is 7.1 supports around uh, sound card so i've selected two pcm rate is uh, 198 uh, sorry 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 192 and uh, again it's analog output and i have two speakers or if you have frontal headphone or front panel two speakers you can even adjust them and probably I would be buying a 5.1 uh, Boston acoustic this year in the next uh, um, in next month or two. So let's see. Okay, and here is the SPDF out. This is mostly needed for a receiver. Like you have a digital receiver, mostly you see of Yamaha. It's it mostly looks like a VCR or a DVD player, but it's thicker in height. What that does is uh, you through this SPDF. We take out the digital signal which is created by the card through SPDIF cable or coaxial cable and then we put that signal into the digital receiver and then that receiver converts the digital signal into the analog signal for sound which is then generated in the form of sound so that conversion in, in, in between that conversion you have multiple options in that receiver you can configure and play around with they have in that you can configure each and every channel how do you want to behave uh, i mean how do you want how you want to behave uh, i mean how the channel or the particular speaker whether it's front whether it's back how do you want their behavior to be is uh, everything is configurable so that is a plus point of that but as it costs more than uh, even a uh, CPU it costs around 14 to 20,000 piece a very basic one so Just that was just for the information actually a normal PC user wouldn't need that So let's move to the mixer now mixer. We have a playback that is like here. We can control the volume for each uh, Satellite there we can control for each and everything On the right we have a record button. So we have mic in so you can control the input level of mic Here's the reset button next we move on to effects effects we have multiple environments then we have a selection of multiple environments these are preset or the shortcuts we can say then we have environmental size depending on the room how big the room is then then we have a default equalizer setup i mostly keep it to default because i have only 2.1 channel speakers so we can move to different set of uh, rules for the music and you can also do a user defined uh, music adjustment so and next is for the karaoke it's uh for the mic or for voice singing 
so when you use a mic for singing i would uh, suggest this uh, because it has voice cancellation like normally when we sing on the mic we have the other disturbances like a humming sound or a uh, ambient noise which which to which is uh, cancelled to some extent by using these uh, uh, some configurations so and mic echo as well so not much of our interest now flex bass this is something new in that so now you can even adjust the bass for the speaker and if you have lost speakers you can change it accordingly and left and right so this is the setup for flex bass it is a feature by asus then you have aec now, aec is acoustics uh, can echo cancellation that is uh, when we hear something and we are speaking on the mic as well there's an echo generated so you can just enable that you get a warning it is suitable for bi-direction -direc voice communication applications to enable this the speaker will change i mean the fun this function will change the speaker voice processing mode and suspend any sound effect so this is what it is not needed if you're chatting or if you're doing something like that where, where, wherein you also want speakers these speakers to be turned on this is the uh, option you'll have to opt for then vocal effects this is uh, the best option i have seen uh, it is for, for voice EX is for 3D games and local voice EX is output to the speakers for 3D games it's uh, the dialogues or the whatever we want to hear it's very pretty crystal clear then for VOIP they have a chat EX application then I mean a feature then you can also add an application into that if you want to and if you check that you can select uh, bathroom I mean that that this is the ambience selection in concert hall and then the water and music pub I have not used all of, all of them I have used the music pub and the bathroom it's pretty good it actually raises to the voice or the sound quality to some uh, I mean to a remarkable uh, extent then we have a magic voice but in the default is uh, it's this is just I believe a funny kind of feature because if you ch ch check these you get a cartoon voice, a monster voice, and a male voice. I select male voice and I've tested it. It's pretty good and worth trying it. So this is all about the Asus Zonar DX Audio Center. And by default, if you select the mode, you get the. I mean, you by default we select here whatever it is. So it gets automatically selected. Okay. Now if you select these mode, you are your mixer that no not the mixer your equalizers uh, get disabled automatically you see here it's not blowing anymore so now if you uncheck everything then it starts using the equalizers you cannot set both of them the preset mode and the actually these are the shortcuts for your preset modes but you cannot control them using the equalizers that is the difference Okay, here we are in effect. If we give for bass, for a shock, rock, everything. So that is pretty much about it. I believe this video was helpful for you. And uh, if you like it, please subscribe. If you don't, please add a comment stating uh, what exactly or where we went wrong. That would be really helpful and appreciated too. Till then, thank you for watching. Talk to you later. Bye bye.